Hi, my name is Sirs and welcome to Lightcraft episode 7. And as you can see, I am missing some pieces of armor. So between episodes, I was doing some off-camera mining and a creeper fell on top of my head and killed me. I managed to find that place, but as I was collecting my items, another creeper fell on me and exploded me and the items I hadn't collected yet, which sadly included my helmet and leggings. They had swift sneak. Yeah. So for that reason, the first thing I'm going to do today is make new stuff and then I will go to the ancient city again to get swift sneak. So, I need two mending books, two protection for books. So I bought all the necessary books costing me two diamonds each. Okay. That should be it. Is there an anvil here? Yes, there is. And I combined all of the books with my armor using the anvil the hedge had in his shop. Nice. And now the only thing that is missing is soul speed on the boots and swift sneak on my leggings. Then I stocked up on night vision potions to help me while raiding the ancient city. I also wanted to buy wool from Nick Box shop, but he was out of stock, so I decided to go without it, which later proved to be a fatal mistake. So I found one ancient city on Chang base, copied the coordinates and set off. And on the way there I found some very interesting stuff. Ooh, villager outposts. And three azalea trees right next to each other. Come on, armor trim, armor trim, please. Fire spec 2, I will take that. But no armor trim, that's a pity. Ooh, what a mountain! Oh my goodness! Whoa! What? This is crazy! What a lava fall! Whoa! I have never seen such a big one! What a volcano right here. Wow. And also, what a giant mountain right here. Yeah, it should be near here, so let's dig straight down. Oh! Yes! I think I found it. I found a scary place. There it is, the ancient city.
Oh, diamonds. Any shurikens down there? Doesn't seem like it's so. Let's quickly. Set up a little box right here. With an ender chest. And then shulker and the shulker box. Okay, I will cut it short. Basically, I was doing fine, but because I didn't have any wall, I sometimes set off a shrieker. But then the warden spawned and hell broke out. I was running all over the place and couldn't find my bed and eventually the warden got me. I tried to recover my stuff, but I got stuck in a death loop and lost two more elytras in the process. So I gave up, put everything into my ender chest and let the warden send me back to spawn. We'll Alright, I am at spawn. So long way home. This did not go as planned, so which way is home? This way, okay. Two thousand years later. Well that was a debacle, wasn't it? And because I don't have any elytras now, I will spend a couple of peaceful hours raiding the NCPs. See you then. Later. So guys, I have returned from the end and didn't die once. Let's check out the loot. So I've got quite a lot of pieces of armor. I will sort it out really quickly. So that's the armor. Then I have loads of other things stackable. And I found Endermine head, some dragon heads, and smithing template as well, which is very good. And some diamonds, loads of iron, gold, emeralds, also Shulker's head, which is uh, uh, of course from a data pack. And then this is the tools and stuff, so yeah, five new elytras, which is gonna come very handy, lots of other tools. I didn't find a single hole, which I'm a little bit surprised. But yeah, and all of the all of the armor. Some of the armor has curse of vanishing, but that doesn't matter really to me. But none of that has curse of binding, so yeah, that is important because I don't want to wear something that I cannot put off. So yeah, that was the loot from uh, the NCTs. And now to tidy it up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so I have enchanted some stuff and also organized my ender chest. And everything is tidied up. I also organized my ender chest as you can see here. Continuing with the enchanting, I went to the enderman farm to get riptide on my other trident. Does it look like a cat? You know that one white cat in Minecraft that always spawns in villages? I think it's supposed to be an Enderman face, but this white wool really makes it look like a cat. I don't know guys, you tell me. So... I need to try my luck with this trident. Oh, retired to book. I will take that. Yes! Yes! Come on! Finally! Combining Cryptide 2. Yes! And I should also bring some lapis and books here because I used loads of it. So yeah. So just 
like that. I have two channeling tridents and one riptide three trident. After about an, half an hour of enchanting. And I kept my ward and returned to use materials to the enchanting station. Let's put mending and let's just finish them all. So I need... This one is finished, so I need mending and impaling 5 on this one. And I need impaling 5 and mending on this one as well. So I need 2 mending books and 2 impaling 5 books, which I don't think the hedge has. So yeah, he doesn't have every single book, which is a pity, but I don't have to do with it. So I bought those two mending books, but unfortunately the hedge wasn't offering the impaling five books, so I will have to do without them for now. And since it's raining, let's try out this one. Ooh, that's so cool. Whoa, from now I love rain actually. <laughs> this is great with Elytra. I don't have to use rockets at all, and what on earth are these animals doing up on my mountain? Are they having a party here? Excuse me, what are they doing here? Well, let's sleep before a creeper blows up my face. So then I went to the end to repair my trident. So I had almost everything back, except for the swift sneak. So I decided to visit the warden again, but this time I had a trick up my sleeve. I disabled the warden spawning by building this chunk loader. I found a tutorial by Shulkercraft and followed the instructions to the letter. Guys, I'm not going to the ancient cities again ever. Because... Yeah, I built a mob switch, but it didn't work when I was too far from it, which I didn't know, so I spawned a couple of wardens accidentally, and I died and lost all my items again. So yeah, I think I will live without that sniff sneak, and wait till somebody goes there, or at least wait till Nick Buck restocks his wool shop, because without wool it's just a nightmare. So yeah. That is my plan now and I'm going to return home and get all my things together again. Damn, Hedge is gonna be so rich from this. I have to do all of my armor again. One Silk Rush pickaxe, Silk Rush eggs. I lost wings or two. I mean, just disaster. So yeah, I will see you when I have everything ready. So, after that nerve wracking experience, I wanted to sit back, relax and do something useful. So I decided to do some terraforming in preparation to the next mushroom build I am going to build this episode. I started down here where I left this sharp line from when I was doing the storage mushrooms and continued right around this cap where the new exploring mushroom will be. Same as last time. I replaced all of the dirt with stone, which really ties everything together. And then I sprinkled in a bit of sand to show that the ocean has swept it away from the sandy beaches on shores and brought it here. I also terraformed the cap itself, and right now it looks odd a bit, but it will make sense when I build the exploring mushroom. I am really looking forward to see the island finished, after all, it has been more than a year since I settled here. Hey. 
and we are approaching the finish line for today. With this addition, I can happily say that more than 3 quarters of the total terraforming are done. Alright, so the terraforming has been completed for this phase. And I think it's time to collect all the materials needed for the mushroom that's going to be uh, somewhere behind me in the general direction. So yeah, let's do this. And the first thing I realized was that I'm gonna need to smell down a ton of cactus to craft all of these green blocks. So I headed off to the desert to collect it. I ran around in the desert collecting every cactus I could spot until I had a bit more than 3 stacks. Ooh, a pyramid you say? Don't mind me if I do. You know I like looting structures. Looks like no mobs, and also looks like it hasn't been looted yet. So... Do I have torches? Yes, I do. Nothing. Oh, get and armor trims. Nice. That is great. Infinity again. And another horse armor. And I think I am going to take all the gunpowder as well to save on my diamonds. Ooh, a saddle as well. Great. Uh, it was very successful. What is this? A village without a bed? Really? Sorry, sir, I will make your day. Huh, yeah. You're welcome in your own house. <laughs> Alright. I think I have gathered enough cactus. So, yeah, I will return home and... Hopefully I'll find it. And when I got home, I sorted out the loot while the cactus was smelting. And then I went to the mesa to get the terracotta. And then I started crafting everything. Green terracotta, bamboo slabs, bamboo blocks. Yeah, I ran out of bamboo so I had to gather more. Ahem, as I was saying. Bamboo blocks, moss blocks, azalea leaves which I had to gather, jungle slabs, dripstone blocks, green stained glass. And then I got really interrupted by this dubious man. Ooh, wandering trader. Hello mister. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Stone diamond ore. And netherite block. What the heck? And shulker box? Well, I bought him out nearly of every block he had. Then I cracked on with the material gathering. I crafted mossy cobble, sandstone slabs, limestone glass, ward ward blocks, jungle trapdoors, and then I got stuck on melons. They just refused to grow on my island, so I had, so I had to risk my life in the jungle to get them. And on the way home, I accidentally bumped in someone's base. Ooh, yeah, this is Strongary's base, I think. Yeah, because he already has a beacon. He doesn't play on the server much in the last cup. In the last, yeah, but he's made a lot of progress. He has villagers going. I mean, like, ooh, and even a trading hall has been prepared. This has to be a real grind. Ooh, and this nice aquarium. All right. Seems like he has been more active than I thought he was. Which, if, which is of course great to see. Let's check out his house. Okay, just basic home, ruining. All right. So this is stronger place. But I think he hasn't got a way to the nether roof or it is somewhere else. So I have to some, somehow find our bases, which shouldn't be too difficult, really. Is that another melon right here? Don't mind me if I do. Oh, and a real ocelot for this time. Not just a crocrabin. Whoa! What a mountain! And more melons! What a nice place here. Man, if I hadn't built a starter base in that area, on that mushroom island, I would have probably built it here if I discovered this place earlier, because it has really nice view. Man. And it has even more melons. I like how you can insta mine them with efficiency 5 diamond X. That's great. So guys, the trip for the melons has been successful. Here they are. And it didn't take a long time at all. In fact, it was only about 20 minutes, which is really good considering that I had to fly all the way there and back here. So yeah, I'm happy with the result. Let's put those melons away into our greenery section. By the way, I absolutely love this storage system. It's just a great and unique way to transport. Just launch um, myself up into the air by these machines. And also lately I have been using lots of ender pearls to not waste more rockets because we have as many ender pearls as we want basically from the enderman farm so yeah i've been teleporting all over the place 
and even I managed to a couple of times I managed to throw an ender pearl straight into that open window. So yeah, I love that uh, way of traveling. It's quicker and also saves you rockets. So yeah, I have pumpkins here, so I, uh, it just makes perfect sense to put the melons next to them. And let's continue with those resources. So, as you can see, I have all of this uh, besides the wool, but I'm waiting for Nickbook to restock his shop, which he might do very soon. I can ignore the clay because this part of the terrain. So, Prismarine Wall. So, guys, next, I think we are going to raid an ocean monument because I need Prismarine and I don't have it right now. So, yeah, let's brew some potions and let's defeat the Elder Guardians. Yay! And I am going to do that the old fashioned way, just swimming there with some potions. I'm going to take my trident with me. And yeah, so I need to brew a lot of them actually. And guess what? I will use my favorite mushroom for it. And before I did the brewing, I moved all of my potions to the brewing mushroom and labeled everything. Alright. I will keep these here. It looks even better. And so I need more water breathing. Which is made with puffer fish. Oh my gosh, do I have some? It probably be here somewhere. Puffer fish. Puffer fish. Please. I might have to go hunting for them. I don't have a single puffer fish. Yeah. Do you sell puffer fish? No. What a pity. So I went puffer fish hunting to the nearest warm ocean and returned home with a couple of them. Okay, I have prepared everything I could possibly need. Let's raid the ocean monument. Yeah, here it is. Hasn't been raided yet, which is a great sign. I will quickly make a small platform right here. Oh gosh! Whoo! That was really scary. I thought I was going to die. These things are monsters! No what? Let's drink some Invis potions right here. Now I should be invisible to them. And it seems like I am. Then I made a small platform and put down everything I needed. So I swam around in the monument until I found and killed all the three Elder Guardians. Alright. 
yeah it seems like there's no way inside so I'm going to break through here Oh no, I run. Oh no, uh, I should have not drank the milk bucket. Oh no. But at least I broke in, so. Yes, I got a head and a prismarine block, but it was from the breaking in, so oh, this is the way in here and here. Alright, now how to get to those wings? Oh yeah! Found another one! Nice! Oh, here it is! Please get an armor train. What? No. I got nothing. I got dropped. Come on. And then I mined all the precious sponges. 64 exactly. That's a great number. And now the only thing I wanna do here is loot the gold blocks in the middle room, right here. So I got them all. And I could get a little bit of dark prismarine while I'm here as well. And those sea lanterns. And I also gathered some regular prismarine, which is why I went here in the first place. Yeah, that should be enough prismarine. In case I need more, I can always come back. And I am going to claim this monument because later I want to make a farm here. So let's grab a sign, which should be here. Alright, that should do. So that would be it, I think, for looting that temple. It was tempting me quite a while, but I didn't have any potions. So that would have been a nightmare without them. And last thing I am going to do now is dry out those mushrooms on the nether roof. Oh gosh. And I should get my hoe out. What a sound.
And done. I'll put this here because they are really valuable to me. Or maybe like right here. Yeah, that's better. Resuming the material gathering, I crafted prismarine walls, glow icon, prismarine blocks, barrels, and then I bought the wool from the book. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cows. Thank goodness I have such a low entity uh, simulation distance. Whoa! But a nice pen, I have to say. That is why he moved all his animals from here. And then I got all the miscellaneous blocks, most of which I had in my storage, except for this one. Okay, I need one conduit. So, 8 nautilus shells plus a heart of the sea. So, nautilus shells, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only! And the seventh one, I will take it and replace it with a fish. I need one more, really. And the heart of the sea, which I have plenty. But really, one more Nautilus shell. Let's sleep and let's do some fishing, shall we? All right, let's go about here. I've never fished before in Minecraft, or maybe a couple of times, but not in this world. So I will be fishing till I fish out some Nautilus shells. Two thousand years later. And after an hour of fishing, I got nothing, at least no nautilus shells, so I decided it would be much quicker to kill some drowned. Well, that was easier than I anticipated. Conduit. Nice. Ah, finally I have everything I need. So what are we waiting for? Let's start building, right?
All right, guys, the mushroom is done. Yes, it looks awesome. I also did the interior. And this is a blank space for now, but later I will put a map of the island here, three by three. And also I will put a torch flower once I have one in this flower pot. But my favorite part of this interior is probably the attic, because it just looks super cramped, like somebody was stashing all things that they need, didn't uh, need. And yeah, it even has like loads of cobwebs, and this chest cannot even be opened. Which is intentional, by the way, I am not planning on storing something up here. So guys, now I want to give a little bit of a backstory of how I designed this mushroom. So as you can see, it has like this, from the top, it has like these stripes going down with melons and bamboo. I uh, made the cat, I made it whole with this slime, uh, this green terracotta and then I made those stripes coming down and then I made a gradient that goes light, the lightest is on those stripes and the darkest is like the place in between then, so it's like uh, not, a, not a vertical but a horizontal gradient on that mushroom. And I have wanted to do that for a very long time, but I couldn't do it. And every time I tried it on different mushrooms, it just looked weird and out of place. But I am so happy it, it did work out on this one, because it looks awesome. I think it is my second favorite. Yes. And I also made these smaller ones to make like a little colony on this peninsula going out to the sea. And I made it like, I wanted to make it like uh, the cat is floating on itself. And the stem is holding it to the ground like a chain. So that's why it's so thin at some parts and has these blobs in other parts to represent like a chain or something but of course made from uh, natural materials i don't know which ones but yeah it's fantasy guys <laughs> and i tried to mimic that on the map on the smaller ones but i couldn't do those blobs because they had uh, their stem was too short so yeah i did that and then, just as I did with the burning mushroom or the enchanting mushroom or the microfarms mushrooms, I incorporated some frog lights or just lights into the cap and covered them with glass and other blocks to make like those little white blobs that are that are on the on the top of these. So yeah. That's about it. And the last thing I want to do this episode is to put something on display on this bone block. And with some armor stand magic I was able to put this together, yeah. But guys, that would be everything for this episode. It turned out to be a lot longer than I expected, but I think that's fine. Anyway, I am planning to finish this island in two or three episodes and then it's time for the middle base. But that will have to wait for the future times. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. It helps me out quite a lot and if you want some more Lightcraft content, I created a playlist of all my Lightcraft episodes. It should be linked somewhere here on the screen. And until next time, bye!